gosh. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, so this is the life of a violist at the Muni. At the Muni. Now, very important. The, they can't the see type, Okay, that's okay. That's okay. They, they, yeah, they don't need to see <laughs> they, they don't want to see this. <laughs> it's very important the kind of rosin you use, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get Very, very you. important. Yeah. The kind of rosin you use in this job is so important because you're playing, 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 playing. We never quit, right? Right? We never quit. And, you know, the humidity, even though we're like in the pit that's got nice kind of air going and stuff, people out there, they're dying, but in here, we've got air conditioning. But that humidity that comes in and eats your rosin, do you find that? Yeah. That's okay. case. So, a friend, one of the violinists here, Nathan Banks, told us about this, and this is amazing. This is, what's it called? Leatherwood. Be something. Be something. Bespoke rust. Yeah. Leatherwood rust. And you can get, there's two formulas that you can just like get. One is supple, and the other is crisp. And I've got the crisp. Here's the, comes into this package. Oh, that'll be backwards for you all, but if you're dyslexic, you'll be real good with this. <laughs> so it comes in this. It's really great. It's great stuff. And the way you put it on. Now you know how to put it on, right? Everybody know how to do this? So, you know, lay it right in there. They know this, right? Well, and I'm sure right. everybody kind of does it differently. So, Now, do you move your bow or do you move the rosin? Now that's the question. Yeah. That's an important question. Do the you bow. do it this way? I think I do. Or do you use I, I think the bow? it depends. A variety. You know? Variety is the spice of life, Wendy. So. And see, you can get a different formula too. So like Carolina wants to get the spice a variety. spicy version. Spicy version. Wendy wants yeah. it extra crispy. It might as extra crispy and spicy. And you know, you can get your own. So you can, if you want to give these folks a lot of money, I mean, just, just this one's a lot of money, but you can get your own special formula created of this. You're going to have, you know, a 60% crisp, 40% supple, or you could do, you know, 80% spicy, yeah. right? <laughs> I don't know if they got spicy, but maybe they'll invent oh my it. Gosh, maybe maybe they'll, they'll, they'll invent it for you. <laughs> so that's the that's today's lesson. In and also, when the rosin is this expensive, it makes you play perfectly. So I'm expecting right. zero mistakes tonight. That's right. It, we're going to be absolutely perfect tonight. Yeah. You know, it, it happens quite frequently. I have to admit, <laughs> but you know, that's uh, that's that's it. So everybody have a wonderful evening. Watch out for the heat. It's going to be pretty bad. I'm a little bit worried about, you know, on Sunday, we have an outdoor rehearsal. And I'm going, oh my God, we're going to die. I mean, yeah. well, you don't have to be there, but I have, I have to be there. Oh, I'm really worried about the musicians because that's, you know, that's, that's deadly. That's deadly stuff. But... You know, we're professionals and we do it. We yeah. just we just tough through it, don't we? Hey! hey. Yeah. Those baskets out there? Yeah, out here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the, almost everybody comes in that way. Gotcha. And that one's cool. totally I empty. Sure I put them in the right spot. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Now, the, here's another important thing. We just got a delivery of masks. So, you know, you, you can have, see, Muni provides masks for us. A friend of work here is watching. Oh, Robert. who's watching? Robert Cheminsky. Oh, my God. It's been forever. And Robert used to be here. Hi, Robert. Robert used to play here. Oh, okay. And I remember there was one time you were playing here, Robert. We were in that old pit that's outside. And there was a thunderstorm coming. And a huge crack of thunder and lightning happened. And I kind of looked over. And you were kind of crouched down. But you you were kind of young then. And it kind of you felt like, oh my, you know, you, you remember, you remember that. You're like, if it starts raining, people all over the world don't, they, they ask me, you do what? Yeah, we keep playing, and one holds the umbrella for the other to keep playing, but now we've got this so that we don't have to do that. Thank God so, for that. Yeah. yeah, here, I'll give you a view of the pit. So this is our setup. We're using two iPads that are on dual page mode, and we'll, we'll see the conductor here in this screen. Because he's on a, a thing out there. You see his platform there? So he goes out there and then they raise that platform up so that the stage can see him, which means then we have to look at the monitor, which is not ideal, you know, not great. 
But yeah, that's the deal. So Robert Chinsky, who do you know? Do you remember Julie? Do you know Julie Leonard? Julie. You know Nathan Banks? You know Charlene Clark? Um, I don't know that you know anybody else. Oh, uh, Mike Bird. Right. Yeah, yeah, Chris Durham. <laughs> yeah, Chris Durham dragged you out. Yes, yes, I remember that. And um, did you go out with us? I was going out with Chris back then. Chris and, and David Breitberg. We, oh, we had a blast. Just a blast. Well, you know what? I gotta go. It's time for me to go. So have a great evening. We'll see you later. Bye. See ya.